welcome to Big Lou Barbecue. Now, things I want to do. It's getting dark here, but we're still going to be able to see my Weber kettle. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Weber kettle. I haven't cooked on my Weber kettle in a long, long time. And I think it's been May of 2019 since I've actually made a video with the Weber kettle. In June of 2019, I got a cool gaucho grill. I've used it a lot. And I've got other grills and smokers I've been using on camera, and I haven't used my Weber kettle. It's a shame because I've got all kinds of accessories for it. Um, I've got things that make it sear and things that make it cook slow and things that make it smoke. And I got all kinds of accessories for it and I just haven't used it much. So we're going to be grilling on the Weber kettle. I've got this new great grill grate for it. Yeah, that's right. That's G-R-E-A-T grill, G-R-A-T-E, great grill grate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. It's a, called a Vortex grill grate. It's made by the people that put out the Vortex thing. but. And we're not going to be using the vortex thing. That's a little funnel thing. We're going to be using the grate. And it's got some real small cutout holes in it that look like little vortexes. And I bought it because I had fish tacos in mind. I thought, that'll be cool to grill all sorts of things that normally slip through regular grill grates. I want that vortex grill grate. And it's got a hole in the middle so that I can adjust the charcoal and everything. Let's talk about the fish we're going to use for this fish taco. It's called Yellow Eye, and it comes from Emerald Isle up in Alaska. All right, it's wild caught Yellow Isle from Wild Alaska. I'll leave a link down below. This was sent to me by the Benevolent subscriber. He sent me some more, and you may have seen another video I did with cod and halibut a while back from the folks at Emerald Isle. We're going to make fish tacos with this, and we're going to season it up with some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Gator shake. I've been waiting for some gator shake so I can make this taco video. This stuff is awesome on fish tacos. Basically, all I'm going to do, I probably will just skip the prep part, but trust me, I'm just going to rub it down with some olive oil and I'm going to sprinkle this on it and I'm going to throw it on the grill, okay? Let's talk about some of the other ingredients. We're going to make a chipotle and a jalapeno mayonnaise to go on it. We're going to make a jalapeno mayonnaise if you want that and our chipotle mayonnaise if you want that. We're not going to use any crema mexicana. We're just going to use a mayonnaise. Now, I'm from Louisiana. That's mayonnaise. Blue plate. If you're from uh, the Carolinas and you like Dukes, that's good too. If you're from somewhere where you can't get Blue Plate or Dukes, you got to use Hellman's or something, move. There you go. This solves that problem. I mean, I guess you could order it, but, you know, it'd be better if you moved to the Gulf South. We'd love to have you. You can eat some Blue Plate from the store. All right. Uh, also, what we're going to do to make it Chipotle is we're going to add some Chipotle Tabasco. Uh huh. Went to the store today and bought me a new one because that one's running out. So I'm probably going to use up... Good bit of that, but that's what it looks like in a box, uh-huh. And for the jalapeno mayonnaise, yeah, you guessed it, jalapeno Tabasco. Yeah, I got some of that that's running out too, but this is a brand new bottle right here. Got, got that in store so you can see it looks like in a box. See, brand new, all right? Anyway, we're going to use jalapeno Tabasco and Chipotle, put that in the mayonnaise, mix it up to the color I want, fix the fish. All right, now, uh, what else are we going to fix? You need your red cabbage and a red onion. There's a red onion, that's a red cabbage. I know, they're purple. Call them red anyway. Don't ask why. Just call them red anyway. We're not going to use the whole thing. Probably about half the onion and a slice or two of the cabbage. All right. Romas. Set like that. Practice. You ready? Romas. Roma tomatoes. Tomates. Roma tomates. Tomates de Roma. All right. Roma. Yeah, that's it's fun when you say it like that. Roma. Got it? Dos. Dos Romas. Y un poblano. Vamos a cocinar chile asado con ese poblano. We are going to make a ch chile asado, a roasted chili pepper with this. We're going to chop that up with the um, tomatoes, the cabbage, the onion. We'll put that on the fish tacos. Oh, yeah. Also got some fresh cilantro. Uh-huh. Fresh cilantro. And I've got some semi-fresh parsley. Semi-fresh parsley. It's been in the refrigerator a few days, week, maybe. It's kind of like was fresh once, but I got to use it before it's like rancid. So we got parsley and cilantro. Now, if you like cilantro, use cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, use parsley or use both. It's your baby. You spank it. Let's get this done. Right, let's start preparing the toppings before we put the fish on. Um, just going to put that onion down like that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use the whole thing anyway. Going to go ahead and use the whole thing anyway. I cut it into thirds after I skinned it and all. Here's the red cabbage sliced into steaks. Look, you see this grill grate here? That stuff's not gonna slip through. This is perfect for this kind of thing. So I'm just gonna put the red cabbage right like that and get that all grilling up nicely. I'm gonna drill, drizzle them both with some olive oil. The olive oil will move through the cabbage a little bit and we'll flip them here in a little bit. Poblano pepper right there in the center. 
tomatoes. That's a lime. That's a pocket knife. Yeah, it's a country boy cooking. Deal with it. It's clean. I only cleaned my toenails with it yesterday, but I washed it. Gosh. Wiped it off on my jeans. Lime goes on there too. Here's some cilantro. We won't be eating the stems of the cilantro, but I'm just going to set it on there. There's some parsley. We're going to set that on there too. Just like that. We're going to let this cook. Get real happy. All right. Look at that blistering. That's what you want. And I like to pick the poblanos that are kind of flat. Same thing with the tomatoes. We're going to peel these tomatoes, but we're going to chop them up and we're going to get them all roasted and happy in there. The uh, parsley and stuff can come on off. So move that to the side. The limes are going to move over here to the cool section of the grill. It's a little cooler right there. And we go ahead and flip these up. We need a spatula for that. We'll go ahead and flip these onions over too. Oh, yeah. And look at that Vortex grill grate mark on there. That's pretty cool. This thing does a great job with steaks too. The steaks look so good on this grate. They really do. I like cooking steaks with this Vortex grill grate. Now that I got this grill grate and uh, my other Weber grate was kind of messed up and I never bought another one and, you know, but now that I got this, I'll be cooking on the Weber more often because I think I'm gonna like this grill grate with it. Let's flip the cabbage over. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We'll be seasoning that cabbage with that lime juice too. So it's all gonna be good just like that. Let's prepare the fish. I probably should have a gloved hand, but I've washed it. I'll put some olive oil on it. By the way, this part was right here, like that, the rib cage part. I just separated it because it's thinner so that I can cook those two pieces separate. All right. Never had yellow eye before, but I heard it's really good on fish tacos. Yeah, I probably should have a glove, but you know, let's go. This is how we roll. All right. Got the gator shake. Sprinkle it on top liberally, liberally, because this stuff is good on fish, really good on fish. All right. We do the other side the same way. Just the same way. Like that. Like that. All right, clean my hand off and we're gonna get this on the grill. All right, while these vegetables finish, we're just gonna set the fish right down on there. Not worried about it falling through this grill grate. This grill grate's perfect fish, love it. You know, I've been thinking, while the fish cooks on this side and while we prepare the mayonnaise sauces, why don't we hit this cabbage with a little bit of Uncle Steve's gator shake? Okay, I've got approximately almost the same amount of mayonnaise in each bowl. If you want measurements on this, I would say approximately a tablespoon of the Tabasco sauces to about a cup of the mayonnaise. What I'm gonna do, I do this a lot, I'm just kinda looking for a color. With the uh, Chipotle uh, sauce, looking for a light pastel pink color. When it gets to that, then I know I've got enough in there. So I'm just gonna add this in there. It's almost like a rust red pinkish color, I guess. And you know what? I've done this so much. Nailed it. Nailed it. I don't know if you can tell that right there, but that's the, where's the camera there? But there we go. That's the color I'm looking for. A light pinkish red, all right? That's what I want in that Chipotle mayonnaise. All right. I'll wipe the spoon off. I'm looking for a pastel green. That kind of pastel color you'd see at Easter or something. And that's about right with the jalapeno Tabasco. And we just mix that up. No crema mexicana or anything like that. Just mayonnaise and chipotle and jalapeno Tabasco sauce. And that's not quite what I want. I'm going to add a little bit more. Add a little bit more. A little jalapeno. You can add as much as you want. You know, like I say, it's your baby. You spank it. You want it really hot? Add more. The jalapeno Tabasco is not really hot anyway. Jalapenos aren't really hot. They're kind of hot. Plus, we're going to have that poblano on there. That's about what I'm looking It doesn't look like that at night, but it's got a little pastel green to it. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. All right, so there's the uh, taco sauces. All right, and that's what we'll put on our tacos. Your choice, jalapeno or chipotle. All right, the cabbage is continuing to cook and the poblano is continuing to cook, but you see how that tomato skin just peels off of there? Tomato is where I want it. I just kind of want it warm, but I don't want it like fully cooked. So we're going to peel off those charred bits of skin and dispose of it and then I'll chop them up. 
Some of these big YouTube channels, they have an A roll and a B roll camera. I do everything on my phone. I've got the A position and the B position. So I had to move the camera back over here to the grill. And we're just gonna look at that. Look at that. Whoo! I've never had yellow eye before, but I've made fish tacos with Uncle Steve's Gator Shake, and I know it's good. Look at that, look at that. And this grill grate is doing fantastic. Let's flip that poblano one more time before we cut it. Oh, you hot man! Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good, y'all. Put some of this cabbage over there by the hotter coals. Always have a two zone fire, you know. Look at those onions getting soft. Look at those onions getting soft, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be good, gonna be good. All right, the way I cut the tomatoes is I go through like this. Romas don't have a lot of seeds in them, you know. I just cut that part out right there and scrape any seeds that are there out. All right, just like this and scrape the seed part out. And then I'm gonna do all that and then we'll start chopping. All right, get rid of the seeds. Romas don't have a lot of seeds. That's why I cho chose it so they're easier to do this way. But you get the point, all right? In fact, that's how it has hardly any seeds in it at all. But I'll go ahead and do the other one and um, get these onions cut up too, all right? All right, that other Roma did have a lot more seeds in it. All right, let me show you how we do these uh, cilantro and parsley. I don't know which one is which anymore, but I'm just gonna scrape the leaves off. Just scrape the leaves off like that and get rid of the stems. All right, just scrape the leaves off. I'm not gonna use the stems. So I'll go ahead and get that done. All right. You've seen me do this before on Chili Asado video. Just scrape the charred skin off. A lot of people like the charred skin. There's nothing wrong with eating it. It's got a little chewier texture to it. And I don't mind eating some of it. I don't like a whole lot with this. All right, but just scrape the charred skin off. We're gonna go ahead and cut the stem end off like that. Open this up like that, lay it out flat. I'm gonna dispose of the seeds. Just dispose of the seeds. Woo, out in the yard. That's why I like cooking in my backyard. It's not like a patio we gotta clean up. Just throw it out there, you know? And then I run over it with a mower. It's all good fertilizer for the lawn. All right, that's enough. A little few seeds ain't gonna hurt nobody. All right, a little bit of that char, a little too much of that charred skin right there. Get it off. Now, all right, now what I'm doing, just gonna chop all this up and then we're gonna get the cabbage and chop it up too, okay? Got to taste a bit of it. Got to taste a bit of it. Woo! All right, good. Don't you love chili asados? Especially made with poblanos, man. They're good. They're not too spicy. Not too mild. Bell pepper's too mild. Jalapenos, good. You can do serranos, too. They're small. But poblanos is just about perfect. All right, get the tomatoes, get the onions chopped up like that. Just kind of a rust. Rough chop on the onions. You get the point. I'm going to chop the tomatoes too. Oh yeah, don't judge me. You've seen me make homemade tortillas before. But yeah, I'm using them from a bag tonight because this is just easy. Using them from a bag. But yes, I've made homemade tomatoes, tortillas rather. I got the tortilla press and all that stuff. I'm not going to put down in the comments. Gringo using a bag tortillas. Yeah, I'm a gringo. But yo puedo hablar español, no? and I can make them fresh, I just ain't doing it tonight. All right, this fish is pretty much done. I'm gonna move it to a little bit of the cooler area of the grill. You want it to be at least 145. All right, my coals are dying out now. I let them go a little too long when I was preparing for things, but that's okay. That's one reason I'm using these uh, store-bought tortillas. All right, we're just gonna put them on the grill like this and let them start getting nice and warm, all right? All right, I got the cabbage here. Now, if you've got any of the cabbage that's too black, get rid of it, okay? Get rid of it. Uh, that one's not quite too black, but it's almost too black, so we're gonna get rid of it. Because cabbage will take on a bitter taste when it's burned. A few little charred pieces are okay, but too much, get rid of the, anything that's too, too black. I didn't say just a little black. I said too, too black. And you know what we need to do before we cut this? Take half that grilled lime right like that. Look at that, look at that. Do you see how beautiful that is? Woo! And squeeze that lime juice all over this. All right. Get rid of that. 
That half we'll do after we get the cabbage cut up. So I'm just gonna cut the cabbage in with this tomatoes and cilantro and chili asado and everything. I know it looks kind of nasty right now, but it's gonna be good on that taco. Oh, I guarantee it's gonna be good on that taco. You want that cabbage to have some sort of crunch to it, but you don't want it to be as firm as raw, but you don't want to need it to be real mushy either. You want a little bite when you bite into this uh, taco. All right, and that red cabbage has a good, good flavor for it. Look at all that, just look at all that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's got just kind of a rough chop. It's a taco, it doesn't have to be finely minced, you know, all right. Would you just look at that? Mmm, mmm, mmm. All mixed together. Woo! All right. That's all we need. Just, just all this stuff, just mixed together like that, and that's what we're gonna top this fish taco with. Let's throw a little bit more lime juice in there, just like that. That grilled lime juice is gonna be delicious. All right, let's get the uh, fish off the grill and I'll uh, show you how we put these tacos together. Woo, look at that, look at that, look at that. That looks good, yeah. All right. Look at that yellow eye. Woo, it is done through. Just look at that, look at that, look at that. And it's still juicy. I'm gonna try a little piece right here. Oh, y'all, that's the first time I've had yellow eye. That's a good fish, and they said it would be good for tacos. They are so right. I'm gonna chop this little piece up like that. Just kind of rough chop it. Fix my taco like this. Just gonna take some uh, fish, kind of broken apart, and I'm gonna load it down. You know what, I'm gonna load it down with fish, just like that. This is country boy cooking, this is family cooking. I make family meals, not fancy meals. All right, then we're gonna take some of this stuff with some cabbage, and we'll make sure I got some of that pepper in there, some of that onion. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go with the chipotle mayo, but the jalapeno mayo would be good too. Put that on there just like that. Into this taco shell that we, uh, or tortilla that we put on the grill. I can hardly get it together, y'all. Hardly get it together. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Let's do a taste test. Woo, weed, it's gonna be good. All right, look, it's just my son and I at the house. The meals I make now are a little easier. I've already tried one of these tortilla shells and if I got any regrets, it's just that I didn't fresh make the tortilla shells with some masa. All right, I should have done that, but you know, hey, just a dad cooking for his boy. We're gonna have some fish tacos tonight. I got some refried beans and some Mexican rice I made in the house. Did that on the stove though. Made the refried beans. I did use canned beans, but not canned refried beans. Yep, mm -hmm. I've done that before too. Y'all ready for me to try this fish taco? I hate to eat in front of you like this. That was some good stuff. I should have made fresh tortillas. That chipotle mayo is just perfect on this, and I know the jalapeno would be too. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I got to take this to my son. We got to eat. Bye, y'all.